Hello and welcome. I'm Sophie Boyer Giraudet. I'm here with Luigi Sorreca, the Director of International Relations at the European Commission. Welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Sophie, and thank you for having me for the second time here. Um, how are the priorities of the European Commission defining a roadmap for uh, sustainable development, global mobility? What are your priorities today? Well, it's, it's, it's very timely that you ask me this because uh, just on Friday, the European Commission has issued a very important report on the application of the global approach to migration and mobility, which is uh, uh, identifying the need to use mobility and migration for economic growth in a much more sustainable way. Uh, the EU needs to, within uh, its objective of Europe 2020, identify migration not as a challenge but as an opportunity. Uh, and I mean labor migration. In order to do so, we need to address the mobility issue. Mobility means uh, uh, people moving. People now do not migrate anymore. They move. Uh, 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 business, travelers, students, researchers. So we need to have a, a, a global approach to mobility that allow us to have those people that we need and those people that want to come to Europe to express their ability and help competitiveness for the EU. Uh, in this context, we have our own GAM, you know very well, because we have uh, presented this already two years ago, the moment it was launched, which is the global approach to migration and mobility, which marries the elements of mobility and security uh, in the sense that, that security enables mobility. And that, that's where uh, a conference like this, when the role of private sector is so relevant, can help us to develop the policy that we are devising. Yes, the Global Migration Summit has all these topics at its heart and uh, uh, we were honoured that you were among the uh, people participating in the ribbon cutting ceremony when it was launched. So, uh, continuing to speak about global migration, what are the emergencies that you're facing today and how are they being addressed? How do technologies play a role and how can they play in the role in the future, uh, referring specifically to identities, digital yeah. identities? Well, uh, on one side, uh, I would like to say two things. On one side, uh, we need labor migration in Europe. I, I know it's not an easy uh, point to, to talk about, but uh, uh, already by 2015, we will need between 400,000 and 700,000 IT uh, workers, and in 2050, uh, more than uh, 2 million of people working in the health sector. So uh, it is not something that we cannot deal with. Identity is important because we, we have to allow people to enter into the Schengen area in a legal and sustainable way. Uh, and therefore, uh, the work that we are doing in the context of the so-called smart border project, which allows uh, our member states to have a, a registered travel program and also an entry access system in the years to come, marries perfectly the work that the private sector in this conference is doing. So let's continue to work together. Uh, let's uh, share uh, experience. And uh, we are à l'écoute, as I say in French, of the latest development in the emerging technologies. Do you see a progress in the establishment of collaboration between public and private sector? Uh, we saw this new era come of age where public sector and private sector partnerships are becoming necessary more than an, an option. We in the public sector, we make policy. But in order to make a sustainable policy, we need to understand how to implement this policy. And the private sector, apart from helping us in implementing them, it should also help us in devising them. Uh, because the policy once made uh, needs to be sustainable. So the knowledge of the private sector in the area of security, for example, is absolutely crucial. Uh, it's one of our ideas is to create an EU internal security consultative forum for the years to come, where we would like to have, apart from the national authorities, also the private sector, civil society, representative of the European Parliament, to make the internal security a shared concern of all stakeholders.
Thank you very much, Mrs. Soreka, and uh, uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much for having me, and see you soon.